Hello everyone and welcome to another video and what I thought I'd be talking about today and I think it's an important topic to discuss is PR. Now I think a lot of people don't actually understand what PR is and how important it is to a company or political campaign or basically anybody who doesn't like want to make an arse for themselves. And PR is basically public relations. Someone can literally go into an entire four year education in sociology, psychology, psych you know, simply to come to fulfill a position to deal with the public. And that's it. That's what they do. Their their job is to deal with the public. So see something happens, uh, it goes up shit creek. They just say, Well, this is what we need need to tell the public and we need to tell it in this way so the public doesn't get upset. And what made me think of this is um uh, like, I don't know if it's about you, but depending on how long you've been on YouTube for, like, there's people you like on YouTube and there's people you don't. For example, I like a lot of the guys, the old co uh, Call of Duty guys, I just, I don't really like anymore, it's not my thing. It doesn't interest me. But, um, I've got a recommend video from, like, T Martin, and it was, think, made me think of that old, I say old, but, like, was it two months ago, three months ago, where, like, T Martin and, um, suddenly get caught up in that, uh, CSGO gambling scheme? And about how they were breaking the laws and like the rules of how the way they should conduct ourselves on the website and I don't know, got a bunch of third parties and the thing is Syndicate Tom Castle, as his name is, played that right. Even though I don't like his videos, I can't stand his videos. Like he's fake as fuck. Not, I'm not hating on the guy. I'm just saying because I, I may meet him in person. I may love the guy. He become my new bro, but I'm just saying like I don't, I don't like his videos. But um, he played it right. He done one video, maybe two at tops, and just went, this is what I've done, sorry for doing it. Uh, may have led the public wrong. Cool, let's move on. And if you check every single one of his videos, he's doing really well. Uh, he, he's moved on from it entirely. No no re repercussions whatsoever. If you, <laughs> if you check Team Martin, who, like, however, he done the wrong thing as far as PR public relations is concerned. Uh, he released things on Twitter, he removed them, brought them back up, tried to explain himself on YouTube, removed the video, tried to explain himself again, and he done the wrong thing. Uh, as as much as I don't agree with it, because obviously it was obvious that Mr. Syndicate uh, was obviously tied to the thing, he played it right. He done the right PR thing, he just came out, oh dear. Here's the statement, and I'm. This is what happened, and I'm sorry. It's cool. Let's move on. But T Martin like bounced back like two, three, four times between one thing and another thing and another thing, and like a lot of people just went, "This guy's kind of full of shit." But the, the the honest truth of it, in my opinion, is if you've got a little bit of head in your soul, like so shoulders, is it's kind of obvious that T Martin and. Uh, Syndicate were out together from the start. And one of the biggest things that annoys me was there was a video that uh, Team Man released as he was like streaming or something. And he was streaming, so, like, it may have been Counter Strike, and he kind of just went, Hey, I just found this site, guys. Um, it's, kind of, like, it's really good, it's really solid, it's got a good reputation. Yeah, and it basically played off as like he just somehow stumbled upon this site. When it was his site, he owned the fucking site. And uh, that's what annoys me. If he went, this is my say, uh, you can go here, you can trust it, because obviously a lot of subscribers want to trust people that they view. So if he, if he simply went, this is my site, this is my site, uh, you can go here, you can get good prices, you can uh, wage gamble, you can do whatever you want here. It's my site, you're in good hands. But then he put it off like, I somehow stumbled across this site. Uh, good luck to you. When he was like... A, like he was a partner in that site. And what annoys me is the way the syndicate does it. He played it he played it really well. He did do it well because he just kinda of made one or two statements went, oh, I'm sorry, can't believe it this this happened this way. And he he didn't write the way he didn't write still annoys me because it absolves him from like from all responsibility, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm going to drag on too long. All I'm saying is, like, T-Man and Syndicate are both equally responsible for the way the things played out. It's just that Syndicate played it much, much better. 
uh, as far as the way that public relations go, and you can tell that within the, the, the likes to this like ratio, and I'm just like, man, as I say, uh, Syndicate may be a really nice guy, but yeah, man, props, you played that right, but yeah, you should be caught out just as much as Team Martin, son. <laughs>